Whether you are a fan of Top Chef or enjoy super secret speakeasies on the Upper East Side, get excited because today I am meeting up with Chef Boudelo at Marky's Caviar Bar. So excited to be sitting here with you today. I want to know so much, but first, talk to me about where we are. We're at Huso. It's a speakeasy restaurant right behind Marky's Caviar retail shop. Uh, we have a small little curtain that uh, lets you go into the intimate dining room. A very unique experience. The food looks incredible. We will get to this. But first, tell me what the experience has been like so far on Top Chef. And congratulations, all of your creations look exquisite. Thank you so much. The journey to Top Chef is, uh, has been a long one. I actually started when I was 15 years old watching the show in regional Australia and I fell in love with the show. And I managed to score an opportunity to be on there and it's like living a dream. It's a lot more intense yeah. than what you see on TV. I strive in these sort of situations. I've always worked in great restaurants and kitchens where uh, that sort of stress actually brings out my best. You can't give us any spoilers, I imagine. I can't right now. You're going to have to stay tuned. <laughs> Tell me about your upbringing. And yeah. How have all of the influences and in different cuisines in your life led you to this point? Yes, yeah, so I'm from Australia. My father, the chef, my dad, not only did he just cook for a living, but he loved what he did, and I, I really drew off that. I've got this sort of uh, multicultural background now that I've lived in Australia, worked in London, now I've been to New York, so I think the food that you see that I create is a reflection of where I've been. Tell me more about caviar for people who don't really know about it. Of course, so caviar is a is actually a special rogue that comes from a sturgeon. A sturgeon is a prehistoric style of creature. It actually takes years for it to actually produce the rogue, and that's why it's such a rare delicacy. And it's just such a tasty ingredient. In the daytime we do a black truffle grilled cheese. Um, we're only utilizing the best ingredients from Marquis. Uh, we have the Huso dog right over here, which is a king crab hot dog that's been cooked in uh, French butter. Uh, topped off with Beluga de Venencia caviar from Italy. We have um, a tuna tartar that's uh, flavored with sesame and golden etc. caviar from Israel and a tres leches which is uh, turned into a, like a white rose signifying the, the start of spring. One of our daytime desserts was, which is a, a play on a tiramisu, savoyardi on the bottom, coffee panna Wait, cotta. this isn't caviar? This is not caviar. Oh my <laughs> I literally did not know that until just now. Yeah. I feel um, like I need to try this hot dog. Yeah, please do. One of the best bites I've ever had. I would never go back to hot dogs. Yeah, no, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tiramisu. <laughs> it's tiramisu. It's cake. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations again, and I can't wait to see what is next for you. It's only going to be great things. So cheers to you. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks, Ash.